All right, on to our third match of the evening for the men's advanced open weight division here at High Rollers BJJ. We have our two competitors come to the center of the mat. I am Andrew Montanez, joined by Eve Edwards. This is Jitsu Master. Master and Squid Show High Rollers BJJ edition, more or less. All right, media. Eve's favorite position. Right. Like, hey, I train with Eve sometimes. He pulls guard all the time. It's his favorite thing to do. So I'm glad someone finally did it so we can hear how Eve really feels about the, the pulling of guard. How do you feel about it? I hate pulling guard. It's one of those situations. Like, I hate that. You gotta see a lot of it tonight. Now, look, like, look at him. Now, now he's on his back because of it. Like, that's why you're on your back. It's like, how'd that guy pull past my guard? Oh, yeah, I pulled him right on top of me. Yeah. Like, does he not realize that there's a pound of weed up for grabs here? People want to put you on your back. If you're just going to jump there and do that, here's some free weed. That's what you're basically saying. It, it, the thing about pulling guard is like you must still live in the 90s if you're pulling guard because, yes, you can protect, you can defend yourself off of your back if the person on top doesn't know what you're doing. But everybody's been learning the same stuff for the past 30 years. It's the era of, what, what was that, guard pulling, key locks, and can openers. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the moves. So stop. Stop head, doing and, that. And all takedowns were head on the outside until people realized that you got choked. <laughs> oh, head on the inside. That works. But we hear, I see our gentleman still on the bottom. And, and right back, and me. there's like parallels here. Uh, whenever you're involved in a tournament, you got you got to play you got to play to the tournament. You, so this is the first round of a tournament. There is criteria. The ref is going to make the decision here who wins. Uh, you gonna, if you're on bottom for five minutes, you know, let's say you pull guard twice, you can't do anything on the guy. Uh, I'm just going to give it to the top guy if I'm that ref. That's a really really good point. Maybe if it's EBI really rules, second round, yeah, pull guard. Here, get on top, go after stuff, be the aggressor. But if, if someone's going to make the decision for you and you don't have a chance to actually set it up, because if you want to pull guard and you're not playing that points game, yeah, EBI rules are great for you. Now here he's going for a leg lock, uh, an attempt, almost a calf slicer there. But you, you have to have those tournament smarts. Yeah. Not saying he doesn't, but maybe he didn't take that into – the factor he probably just maybe was hurt. Yeah, he got there. on top for just a second, and now he's lost the position because of mat space. And right back to it. Oh it's such boy. a risky move if you don't really know. It's the guy not a move. Let's not call it that because it's not a move. Falling down is not a move. It's a bad move. It's not a move. <laughs> it's a mistake. <laughs> and. Like the point I was getting to, if you're going to pull guard, you don't know this guy. He may just want to be on top. Like maybe if you don't want to end it, like if you're going against someone with such a good guard like Marcelo or something, even still don't pull that guy on top of you. Don't pull anyone on top of you. End up in guard because you ended up in guard. Have an equally good top game as you do bottom game. And, and at the very least, I'm like, I'm not 100% against pulling guard in a grappling match mm -hmm. where people don't know how to wrestle. But, like, make an attempt at a real shot and get to a position where you're not pulling open guard. Yeah, and be attacking the whole time. Pull guard, try to transition, catch the guy, move, make, create a scramble, like, open things up. As he does, get the back here and a nice He's leg lock. Bar. He's looking for this knee bar. Hold on, if he wins a high roll, if he gets a knee bar. Yeah. So might, okay, he might be switching to a heel hook now. Yeah. Okay. As he does. 
Okay. Cause V would have gotten a knee bar. And we I want a fight with the knee bar one. Did you? Yep. In Texas. An actual fight. Through the roughest town, there's only a few seconds. Fight's really close. Couple seconds left in the match okay, here. Let's see if he pulls guard. Let's see. I feel, I feel like he told him it was really close, even though he said it was okay, really. Okay, see, that's pulling guard. Okay. That's not an attack. Oh, my God. That's pulling guard. Like he just threw himself through his back and was like, Yo, you think you're so tough? Get between my legs. You see how hard you are. That was a tap. I think that was a tap right there. Caught, caught him in the leg lock. Got him in the got him in the heel hook. Quick, quick tap right there. Who got the tap? Wait, I didn't see our non tap. our non guard pulling gentleman got the tap here. Oh. So we could uh, take a quick look at a replay here. So. Oh yeah. Yep, he goes for the leg lock and gets him in it. Right after you see he he pulled that guard at the end, stepped over and across, immediately goes to the leg lock, crosses his legs oh. up in a quick tap on the leg. Wait, wait, let's I wanna see I wanna see what yep, he feels that. He's in pain. There we have our victor moving on. Gentleman via heel hook. With the last couple seconds left, referee said it was very close. Obviously I think he was still gonna get the nod, but Hey, if you can get that finish. Demetrius Johnson knew he was going to get those wins. He still tried for the finish. He knew the judges were going to still give it to him. Still wanted that finish. And that pound of wheat. Not saying Demetrius wants that pound of wheat, but he would probably take it. <laughs> 